Time for a quick cuppa. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? 100 years ago, how long would it take to boil a kettle? With this. Well, let's have a look. First, we need some heat. And the heat here is a fire, and we've got to get this fire going. And to do that, we've got to get this bellows going. We've got to get some air through it. We've got to get a nice blaze going. Now, this is a daily task performed by the lady of the house who would have to run the house, clean the house, all with the hot water generated in this kettle. Now this is work, I've stuck, I've died with, I'm, work, I'm worked out already and we haven't even started to scrub floors and scrub shirts. And you see those little old Victorian ladies coming around every morning for the cappuccinos with biceps about a foot wide. This should be an Olympic event. Look out Steve Redgrave, mate. This does give you the strength. Oh, I think it's that's getting a little bit too hot. But where's the off button? Where's the off button? No switch, no button. Because there's no in instant cut-off. It's all got to be worked at. Just too hot for me. Whoa, this, this is heavy, and it's heavy because it's cast iron. It's not plastic, it's not aluminium, it's cast iron. And that's, it's heavy before we even get any water in it. So let's get some water in it. Let's get the old pump going. And this is an old tub, it's not a tap, it's not a main, nothing like that. This is a rain tub. And of course, in the old days, this would be from a trough or from a well or something like that. And again, it involves work. Oh dear me. Just think people are going to bath in this and drink it. Oh, let's get it done. Oh, right there. Now, how long will this take to boil? It's essentially a big cylinder with a big flat bottom to catch all the heat, very efficient, boil, 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 and all the water pops out, the steam, hopefully you've got some left to actually make your brew and do your washing and all that afterwards. But it took at least half an hour for the kettle to boil. Now when electricity came along, kettles stayed essentially the same shape. It's a dome shape for all the water with a flat bottom to catch the heat. Except that there's no fire anymore. We've got a huge flat bottom with a huge element in there that takes a lot of heating. And there's no real design solution here. It's, there's no real need for it to be this shape. It took 40 years of using plastics for designers to realize that we can make a kettle whatever shape we want it. And here we've got a nice slim cylinder shape with a tiny element at the bottom, which means we can heat this much water, this much, this much, or indeed the whole thing. It really is a good design solution.